see how that went. And with that, thumbs up. You all have an awesome Friday. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. It's Fortune Cookie Friday. I have one fortune cookie left. <laughs> hey, let's do it. Right? And give us excuse to go up and get some Chinese food later this week, get some more fortune cookies. So it's fortune cookie Friday. Yay! Come on, bubbles. Be quiet over there. I got the cats sitting there sound asleep next to me. I had my phone, my boy didn't go steal it. I take a picture of bubbles and there's heart over there sleeping. They're all hanging out. It's kind of funny. They're usually up. And they actually let me sleep in, too. I don't know what it was about last night, but apparently they let me sleep in. And here's the fortune cookie. Fortune cookie Friday opened up, and we have a fortune. Let's see what it says. Take the glasses off so I can read it. How about another fortune? That's funny. I have to go there. Ha! Mm -hmm. A little secret. Keep your plan secret for now. Keep your plan secret for now. Now, how does that apply to Agile and Scrum? That's a good question. Keep your, your plan secret for now. Well, I know from planning that I was reading something. Someone's, someone's going out there and posting some... Uh, old quotes and stuff, and they talk about plans and how plans kind of like, they're good to know. So your secret, you know, one of the things about planning is that you, the nice things about having a plan for the sprint planning session, planning week, when we do sprint planning, it gives your team a chance to know what they know is a risky and what's not risky, right? It gives you an identify, identification up to points if it's more risky because you don't know. Maybe there's a lot of unknowns. I always tell people, you know, I like to, like I said, I like using three points as my middle and then two and one are smaller and then five and eight are higher. And, you, and, and as you mark things like an eight or a 13, right, those things, they have a lot of unknowns, stuff we don't know about. And I, and I give that extra time because it may take more group time to figure out a solution to that problem. But I don't know if that's secret of the plans. Maybe it's holiday shopping. <laughs> don't tell anybody you're shopping online. I don't know. I don't know. Think about it. Because one thing in Agile, we don't really keep secrets. We try to expose things like what's going on and bring things to light. And uh, Agile and Scrum um, doesn't allow you to keep your secrets, right? It exposes stuff. Like if you're not testing stuff in the sprint, um, you'll find out, right? You'll find out later on the error, right? So um, – and if you're not really producing or turning stuff over or moving stuff, the metrics and the boards and how we communicate every day, like, you know, it's kind of hard. And everybody talks about daily scrum. If I have someone tell me every day in daily scrum, oh, things are good. Things are good. Things are good. But I don't have the word done. You can't hide that for long. It's like, well, did you get anything done? Right. And that's what I see in a lot of things. This is, it's nice that you're okay. But the real question is, did you get any work done? Did you get what we have on our list we all agreed to and plan to done? So it's kind of hard to keep that secret, right? It's kind of hard to do that. So maybe it's an opposite. It's an anti-pattern. So maybe this fortune cookie, keep your plan secret for now, is an anti-pattern for Scrum and Agile. We the, the, It'll get uncovered soon enough. So don't even bother keeping them secret for now. So this is an anti-pattern. So the fortune cookie now gives us an anti-pattern about the um, to Scrum and Agile. So it's not always the same thing, but you got to think out of the box. So keeping your seat plan secret for now is an anti-pattern in Scrum and Agile. And with that, I'm going to say take care, happy scrumming, enjoy your Friday, enjoy your weekend if you're off, and we'll see you later. Take care. Bye. See ya. And end. Woo. Hey, good morning. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Hope you're all doing well. It is Friday after Thanksgiving here in the States. And I was just showing off. Um, this is a G-Scrum boxcar because it is the week, train week, right? Because I'm doing stuff. 
and this is a HO scale. So now you can see the different, this is HO scale, which you may see a lot of the train sets and people have at home and all going around the train, the trees during the holidays and they do a lot of stuff, but here's the G scale. So you can see the difference and why I say when kids see these things, they can see them a mile away. So, hey, relative sizing, right? How do you size this HO scale train to this G scale train? We're going to do live very soon. One, two, three, we're live. Hey, good morning. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. I'm Greg Master, as your coach and Scrum Master here on 5 a.m. Master Scrum. This is our episode 124. And uh, we talk about Agile Scrum in a practical and tactical way. And to get you home to your family and friends to do some fun things. I got a lot of stuff to do this weekend. It is Saturday, about 6 13. So we're a little bit later than normal. I was looking, I figure Saturday. Browse around LinkedIn, see what's going on. Watch the little video of these little kids. Um, one kid, one little brother or somebody was making breakfast or lunch for their their brother, and they were doing the walk thing. And they, the little tiny brother, no thumbs up. I was just laughing. I got a kick out of that. So that's the international sound. This is good. <laughs> and they all know to do it on the video, which I thought was <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> 